everyone! So today, welcome to another Coffee Chats with Karen. So today we are going to be discussing body image. I'm basically going to be telling you my body insecurities and how I finally accepted my body type. So grab a cup of coffee, tea or whatever you have. And let's talk about this. Honestly, for me, for the longest time, it was very hard for me to accept my own body type and also my own bone structure because I was told so many times before when I was younger, especially in my teenage years, I was bullied a lot um, about my weight. I was called fat, I was called chubby, I was always referred to be that big girl. And also people would constantly compare me to my sister or to other girls who are slim and you know skinny. And um, I even got one comment of just like telling me like why am I not skinny? like other girls. And that has really affected me so much um, growing up. So because of that and all those comments, it, it really made me insecure about my body. I've developed some severe body insecurities. And from that moment on, of course, I never really have appreciated my body because all I can see was my imperfections and the imperfections that people are literally verbally pointing it out. And also because it's just not what society is approving. With that being said, I'm gonna be telling you guys my body insecurities and what people have pointed out before that in return has made me very insecure. Now, before, I didn't really like my face shape because I don't know if it's an Asian trend or something or is it just here in my country that everybody likes this oval face shape with like long chin and your face has to be like really, really slim, just like this. And um, before, I was called a circle head. People told me that my face was big or my face was fat, that I didn't have any definition. I don't really have any cheekbones. My jawline is not that emphasized at all. And before that, I really, really wanted my cheekbones to be out there and more noticeable. I always really wanted to have um, a defined jawline. I always wanted to have like a longer neck because I was also told before that I look like I didn't even have a neck which is not true because I have a neck. It may not be the longest neck but I do have a neck. And also my arms, okay? I really don't like my arms before because I feel like if I gain weight, I kind of store them somewhat-ish in my arms. My hips were a little bit wider. I don't have the biggest hips ever, but like my bone structure on my hips is a little bit wider than other girls. I used to really hate that because when I try on some jeans before that was custom made for the very petite girls here in my country, I couldn't fit that at all. Before, it was kind of like a struggle for me to accept that. And I'm also I'm not really big because I'm only 5'2", but I feel like you would know and you would understand what I'm talking about if you're from the Philippines and you can't fit the regular size jeans here. I feel like I am most insecure with my thighs before. Yeah, my thighs are not huge or anything at all, but you see, I was one of those people who really like the thigh gap. Some people have thigh gaps. It's probably genetics, you know? So for me, it's a struggle to get a thigh gap because even though if I lose a ton of weight, I just noticed, yes, my, my legs are slimming down. However, I still can't achieve that thigh gap thing. Those are my body insecurities. And also, I don't like the fact that if I gain weight, it all goes to my boobs and it all goes to like my back fats which I really, really do not like. And if I lose weight, you guys, my butt is like the first area to where you would really notice that I lost weight. When my butt disappears, that's the time that you know that I lost weight. I think it was just last year to where I finally just accepted my own body type and my own bone structure, but realized that I could never look like them because we're all, our bodies are all made differently. My bone structure is not the same as their bone structure. Their body type is not my body type. So it's absolutely useless to compare myself to the other person knowing that their height and their frames are different than mine. And also, if you come to think of it, God has made us all differently. And you know, you can't necessarily carbon copy someone else unless you get something done in your body. And also, don't get me wrong, it's not um, a wrong thing to have um, body goals or body inspiration or look to other girls who are working out because they are very helpful, you know? I follow them for inspiration and for a motivation for me to actually go to the gym or to work out. But however, at the same time, I'm not comparing myself to them that I need to look exactly like Nikki 
were exactly like Jasmine. And you know what? I finally decided to be okay with everything that I'm not and basically just work with what I have. And I know this is cliche, but just to be the best version of myself instead of me constantly comparing myself and also to stop changing the things that I cannot physically cannot change like my bone structure my body type I can't alter that right now my goal is to just simply work and improve myself on the things that I can change like you know like building up a booty also I'm um, toning up my body those things are the things that are actually possible for me to do and just love myself for what God has created me to be, you know, and not in a narcissistic way at all, but, but it's kind of like to finally just accept yourself and be at peace with your own self and, and not always making myself or like my body as the enemy because it's not looking how I want it to look like because my mind was so tainted by what society tells me that I should be looking like, you know, instead of just being who God made me to be. And also you guys, let me know in the comments down below if you are going through the same thing. If you all are struggling as well with um, body issues, with body dysmorphia, or if you have already overcome it, or if you are still in the process of overcoming it. So that is it. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!